Now violence and unrest in India's eastern state of Manipur. Thousands of students took to the streets to seek justice for two students from the Mai Tai ethnic group. The pair went missing two months ago during the peak of ethnic violence in the state. However, pictures of their dead bodies just appeared on social media this week. Manisa Donabalan joins us with, live with more on this. Manisa. Hey Matt, a Central Bureau investigation team arrived to the state's capital today to investigate the incident and a curfew is in place to curb the violence. Just a warning for some of our viewers, some of these images may be disturbing. Indian security forces fired tear gas at protesters. Hundreds took to the street yesterday to seek justice after photos of the bodies of two students of Mai Tai descent went viral on social media. According to reports, the two went missing on July 6th. Protesters suspect they were allegedly killed by militants of Kuki descent. But the demonstration with thousands of people, including students, quickly escalated to violence. According to reports, more than 45 students were injured as a result. <laughs> Meantime, protesters set fire to the BJP office, which is home to one of India's political parties. A video on social media of someone getting beaten in the middle of the street by what seems to be authorities has also sparked outrage in the community. The chief minister of Manipur took to Twitter saying the state and central government are working to get justice for the two students. To further expedite this crucial investigation, the Central Bureau of Investigation director, along with a specialized team, will be arriving to Imphal, which is the capital city, tomorrow morning in a special flight. The leader of the opposition, the Indian National Congress Party, slammed Prime Minister Narendra Modi over the violence and urged him to sack the BJP's chief minister. The government instituted another five-day ban on mobile and internet services after it was just restored earlier this week, following a ban that's been in place since May. Manipur is one of the seven northeastern states in India, and it's located between Bangladesh, China and Myanmar. While it has a long history of separatism and tensions between different ethnic groups, lately it's been rocked by violence since May. The conflict between two communities, the majority Mai Tai and the minority Kuki, began over competition for land and public jobs after plans to recognize the Mai Tai as what they call a scheduled tribe, a status the Kuki community already has. Almost 200 people have already been killed as a result. Earlier this month, security forces used tear gas and opened fire to disperse a crowd of about 500 people. One person was killed and 20 others were injured. Since the conflict began months ago, people have looted police stations, more than 20 churches, more than 200 churches, and almost 20 Hindu temples were destroyed, and thousands of people had to flee their homes.